Let me walk you through the expected move feature. So say you wanted to set up a trade on, on Apple, so you type in AAPL or you can type in Apple and then it appears, you click on it on that line and now you're in the kind of main screen. You will see in the bottom right an expected move. Now there are two options. There is a 68% probability and an 85% probability. The 68% probability represents one standard deviation for you statisticians out there, but for everybody else, it's the theoretical range in which the stock is expected to move by the end of the expiration period you select above here. So say we select uh, the third Friday in June, and you can now see this blue area here, and the stock price of Apple is expected to stay in that zone with a 68% probability. If I make it to 85, it becomes a little wider, it's expected to stay in that range. So how could I use that to set up a trade? Well, you could select a strategy that you prefer. Say we go for an iron condor, and we could then widen that iron condor to somewhat match the expected move. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that there isn't any risk to a trade. Uh, you know how the markets work, but it is a very, very useful set of information to have. So this trade here, you can now see has these little gray lines which indicate the break-even price at 190.84 at the top and 154.17 and down below. It also carries across to the stock chart. It's also shown on the here on the right. And then it's showing you that you could make a max profit of 9% and it'll cost you essentially $916 approximately to set up and that would also represent your max loss on that. And then it shows you it has an 86% probability because we're ever so slightly below this blue expected move zone down here. That's it in a nutshell. Very, very useful to use.